Who crazy? I'm not. I was crazy once. They put me in a round room and told me to sit in the corner. It pretty much drove me crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. Yo, 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 everybody. Generic B here, and welcome back to another episode of Blast Off, the I'm Stuck on Earth, but this is not the Earth I Remember mod pack. <laughs> um, so thank you guys first and foremost so much for your support on the first episode, and you guys are really understanding about why I changed from doing Material Energy 4. Uh, to this so thank you very much for that I'm already can tell I'm really going to uh, like this uh, this series a lot this mod pack um, so let me show you really quick what I've done uh, and then we'll do a couple quests and then I will show you uh, I'll show you like how I'm how I'm progressing how I'm doing things and then some ideas uh, before I do though you'll notice my insanity is slowly going up um, I, you may have you may have seen at the beginning had the little uh, I was crazy once that uh, there's insanity in this game with environment mind and I've learned a couple things daylight makes you sane like makes you good in the brain uh, nighttime makes you crazy being underground I think during the daytime makes you crazy and but being around flowers supposedly makes you feel better and that's what I've gathered so far. Um, so what that tells me is I'm not going to be able to really make a good underground base like I did on uh, Crash Landing, which is okay uh, because uh, that part got me uh, thinking I have to I have to go out during the day and I have to go inside at night. So. It reminded me of that movie. Oh, and then like Earth is Gone. It reminded me of that movie with Will Smith, um, Last Last Man on Earth. Was that what it was called? Dang it, Last Man on Earth. Uh, you know where there were like kind of zombie things out there, and he would go out and do his thing, and then at night he would run back to his house. So I've got an idea of a base. It may take a little while because I got to figure out like how to get materials and whatnot. But I do have an idea for a, a base that I think you guys will like. Um, that being said, I have just been collecting some some stuff, I've been chopping down the old trees, you know, doing as I do, just chopping trees. Yes, the torch was causing <laughs> was causing the trees to catch on fire. That is part of environment. Mind. Uh, so let that be a lesson to you if you are playing this game. Whoa, I only got one one sapling out of that. That's nuts. Um, now you may also notice. Check this out. Hypothermia is a thing in this game because uh even daylight or not it must be cold on this planet uh nuclear winter and all that type of stuff so uh give me oh yeah i got plenty on that so and then since i've got all those and i have some in the in the bottom i've just been filling that up uh you wherever you go at least bring a torch with you and then you could sit right there with the torch and it will slowly you see how now my temperature is going up so it will slowly heat you back up and get get rid of this hypothermia very important i actually died once on this went over there to do something and uh <laughs> had such a bad time uh because once you get frostbite you start dropping things frostbite too you can't move and if you can't move you're dead uh, I got a little bit of some uh, meteors have fallen into my base. It's pretty funny. I'm I'm seriously losing my mind. Did you see that? Like I have to stay outside until is it going back up now? For yeah, it will gradually go up in sanity, and I'm slightly encumbered, which probably means I have too much stuff. Who knows? Um, I've got this thing which I got from a, a haunted weapon. I better put this in my 
Fire mode off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, materials. Oh, oh no. So this is a thing. Oh, I forgot about that. Um, that has been added. Ooh, crap on a cracker, man. That scared me so bad. Um, that is part of. I'm gonna have to actually fix that. Let's. You know what? So that's some kind of combat music. And it may be really fun if you're playing a game. What it does is it. What it does is it makes it to where. Uh, ooh, man, I'm so scared. Makes it makes it to where you are. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now I've got slowness because I'm insane. I have no idea. Ooh. Um. <clears throat> it makes it where every time there's a mob around you attacking you, you are. You get this music and it sucks. And now you see, now I've got insanity on me. I'm going, I'm going crazy. Let's put some wood and stuff up in me. I'm not quite sure how to get around this. The insanity is really bad. Um, <clears throat> I am going to sleep. Can I sleep? It's not nighttime yet. Okay, let's get out of here. Now I have nausea, because I'm insane. <laughs> it's awful. And I'm gonna get cold. And so I'm just gonna sit here and hopefully slowly get my get my sanity back up. Um, I'm also gonna see if I can figure out how to turn off that combat music and all of that, and then we will start working on quests. This is for sure a very, very rough mod pack to deal with. So, okay, I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, we fine. <laughs> so, uh, sleeping in a bed helps out quite a bit, and so I'm just getting a little more health, but it's crazy, as soon as you go inside, it starts going like mad down. So, uh, let's let's just do it. Let's just deal with it, I guess. Um, oh, and I deleted the uh, battle music jar in the mod folder. If you guys are don't want that uh, <clears throat> don't want that battle music going on all the time. All right, so here's where we're at. Let's do a couple quests. Getting started. Uh huh. Open it up. Uh, so we did this one where we got the thing dungeons. We have a zombie head and glowstone. That was pretty easy to get. And so now we get uh, bones, ultimate pet, and a dense energy cell. Book a book. Very cool. Um, this guy right here. This uh, <clears throat> this water is a healing water, so you get in it, and you see you get speed and, and uh, regeneration. So that's really good. Um, you can also take water straight from it, and it makes water. So you can't beat that with a stick. This works out great. Uh, this says make sure nothing is inside before putting in a new drive, so we're going to... Nope, we did. We so did. Oh, no. Put that in there. No, we did. Are we dead? We have no stored power. Okay, this thing is... Some kind of generator. Oh, we're so insane, man. There's not much we could do about this at this point. Uh, let's put some... <clears throat> wow, excuse me. <clears throat> Stupid allergies, man. Let's put in this. Does, do you create things? Okay, generating 80 RF per tick. Yep. Hello. Hello at me being... Oh, I am not only... Not only crazy, but I'm also cold. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, man. Alright, so I need 3.2 mega business on that. That thing's going through, so we'll... We'll let that run. Meanwhile, we can turn in some more quests, hopefully. Uh, getting wood, so we had that. I think I've already got these. Um, let's try it. Yeah, see, it won't It won't let me do it again. Oh, God. Yeah, see, I'm crazy, crazy, crazy. <clears throat> and it's just going to do this to me constantly. Let me turn down... Music and sounds. Let me turn the... Oh, they're already down pretty far. Let me turn that down a little bit so we don't hear that spider all the time. Um, and I think this is a deal with uh, the Hardcore Quest mod. You have to add... Um, you have to add 
uh, reputation to each one of the quests. So anyway, got Monster Slayer, killed five zombies, and then you get Not So Holy Meat and the Pimp Cane, and I pick between Shears and Man of Steel Shears. I'm gonna hit those because it has a has a thing on it. Book a book. And now uh, I have the ability to keep fit. Kill to 10 skeletons. Let's see what these are. Let's see what we got, though. Uh, hello. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> hello. Uh, so, <clears throat> ah, cool. Not so holy meat. It's got smite 2. Pimp cane, knockback 2, and fire aspect. So this, this might come in handy if we get outside. Let me grab my torch. Um, if we get outside, we can, uh, we can hit them with the not so holy meat, and that should kill some things pretty easily. I'm not... Why are you doing that to me? Why would you do that? Oh, let me eat a... Let me eat an apple. <laughs> I have a feeling that there's going to be a good way to get out of this issue. Uh, okay, sanity. Great, since we were talking about it. Being alone on this ravaged land makes me a little insane. However, being near flowers uh, seems to make it better. Time to mash up saplings into flowers. So, we need... 16 saplings and then we can get this stuff so happens just so happens that over here i have my 16 saplings all ready to go so we'll turn it in manual submit um and we get two of those and we can pick between cactus carrot and sugar cane um i'm gonna go with sugar cane only because that way we can get some paper and some books i think that might be helpful we're good on that. Hello, I'm so insane. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that, everybody. Uh, let's put, oh, I got one of these dense energy cells, stored energy. You see, what do I look like now? I still look like that guy. It's, it just is nuts, man. Let's try this. Does this, if I break you, energy acceptor. If I put you there, you there. We're getting max power. Oh, energy required. Oh, so we could do this now. So if I go, bloop, now you're gone. So I could take the sapling storage. That's not how you spell sapling. And if we put ultimate pet in there. Oh, Lord. Deathbringer. Chest, chest plate, guardian plate. Sitting false. Oh, baby, you guys are so cool. Come on. Come to me. Hey, hey. Come over here. Yes. Oh, excellent. Now, if I if I put this back, ultimate pet. They're probably gone, which is a good thing. And then I can put in the sapling storage. No, not yet. <laughs> okay, oh, I could probably sleep now. Let's see if I could sleep, and that should help. Oh, I can only sleep at night. Good gravy, man. I wonder what time it is. Let's look outside. Oh, it's not even close. Look at this. Just stop it. Stop making me nauseous. Please stop. I just want to just want to go sleep. Okay, this is the sapling. No, come on. Hit a button. Not yet. What does it need? Required power. Oh, so it's going. It's doing its thing. Okay. Did you eat up all that? Yes, you did. Let's throw in a little more. A little more oak wood. Just, just for helping. You know? Okay. So, what else we have on this thing? <clears throat> I'm hoping I could not be insane for a day. So I can, like, show you guys some cool stuff. Hydration. Yes, so here's a good one. Oh man, <clears throat> man, at my at my uh, allergies today, um, I'm getting thirsty. Perhaps it's time to grab a drink. Actually, <clears throat> let me grab a drink. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. From my past knowledge, I can heat up. No, you know what, fellas? I'm so sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a quick break. <clears throat> I'm gonna wait till night, sleep it off, cause this is insane. 
and uh, literally insane. <clears throat> and I'm gonna hack up along. I'll be right back. All right, we're working. Still a little crazy, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I went ahead and I turned in the this one right here, the Keeping Fit, um, and I got a little mead out of that. Uh, so <clears throat> the way this works is you hit semicolon to activate it and it will show you distance walk jumps all that stuff and i think if you go one two, three, four, and then you go it's not oh we put it right in there oh huh. here we are look at all these jumps we've done and so now we've got jump boost speed oh this is great this is just what the doctor ordered so now as you go hit hit the old business It'll tell you all that stuff. Now, if you go like uh, jumps, if I do 482 jumps, I'm guessing I, it's like it's something like the more the more you use it, the the better it is. Type of thing is really cool. Uh, we'll figure it out as we go. But I love this. this is awesome. Uh, okay, so the thing that is really cool about this game, about this mod pack, and while I'm cold. Let me get a little, a little warmth right here. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so you'll notice right in this one, it wants you to make a frying pan. And so, and it has to be on an active furnace. So I was like, okay, frying pan, what is this business? <clears throat> and it's this one right here, the kawaii, which takes stone. And I was like, okay, in order to get stone, we don't have crushers or anything, but you need cobble. In order to get that, you need this stone. Right? Now, I was like, or crush, oh, no, it's just, it's not real. So <clears throat> I was like, all right, we can use uh, a hammer on it. You know, and I saw, okay, hardened gravel, whatever that is. And I was like, ah, the sieve, that's what we need, right? Now, watch this, the sieve, there's no recipe, no recipe for it. So what you gotta do is you have to, oh, did I take my, no, let's make one more. You have to make a hammer. So that's, this is the first step. First step. And then you need to make a wooden, <clears throat> one of these, wooden hammer, because you won't have anything else. Right. Uh, so we will get rid of you, take you with us. And a uh, hole. Come on. Oh, I probably haven't, no, the ax is really slow too. And then you go and you find yourself a nice little place like this. Yeah. Oh, that actually has a... Ooh, that's got a <clears throat> mob spawner in that one. Let's not go to that one, shall we? Let's go to... Oh, this one over here. Perfect. Because we know what's what the dealio is on this one. And in here somewhere, you will find... So there's hardened limestone... Uh, up, yeah, up there, you will find, I wonder, come on, yeah, oh, a little smart moving along with this, it's a little bit of a obstacle course, and now we got some, oh, this is so neat, okay, let's see, we'll go over here, maybe, yep, and whoop, now, you have this hardened gravel. So you can take this stuff, hit it, go to town, and it gives you these stones. And it gives you gravel. So this is how you're getting your stone situation for at the beginning, which is really, really cool. So you can just go through, make all this stuff, eat a little food, as you do. I am getting a little, go. Oh. Oh, wow, boy, that was rough. <laughs> the speed is really nuts. It's really cool to have. Um, but, so then we're going to go over here, and we'll make a couple of these guys. And then you can make, I think this is how you make stone hammer. Yep, stone hammer, which is used in a quest book. Uh, do I need to eat some more food? Come on, heal me. <laughs> heal me, baby. And let's put a little bit of this in, in us. 
Oh, oh wow, look at that book. Crazy, that was crazy once. All right, it is time to sleep because we're going crazy. We're, we're going like insane, big time insane. Get into bed, only sleep at night. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. Good Lord at this, man. <laughs> it's so bad. You really have to be careful with what you're doing. All right, so now we can get out. You're not real. Where are you? Nope, you're not real. All right, and, uh, oh, in a quest. That means, so we did I fit. Yeah, we got one of those. We did it already. Um, meteors, yes. So now we get a reward. A meteor shield and a meteor time detector. Book a book. And I'm assuming we could put this <laughs> right here. Meteor shield charging. Sweet. Detects the next. Meteor detected. Can I put that in there? No. So that's kind of cool. It'll tell you like when meteors are, are coming and, and whatnot. So uh, we got that going on. The next thing we can upgrade rotten flesh, smash copper ore, and a cobblestone to upgrade. Uh huh. The generator fueling the spatial drives isn't good enough. It seems Robit can compress some materials to make an upgrade for it. And this is what we would get. So if we get some cobblestone and this, all right, works out perfect. Uh, crucible tech. Uh, seems that crucible is rather useful. It can smelt ores, it can smelt grout in a seared stone, and it can smelt saplings and leaves in the water. Uh, perhaps it's time to smelt some grout and get an actual smeltery going. So this is what we need to do, which we can do that, no problem. Um, but what I'm interested in doing is this bone tools today. Uh, so we can make a bone tool, pickaxe, rod, and bone binding. I have the stuff in there, but I'll be honest, I'm afraid of going crazy. Cause this whole place is crazy town. Uh, let's, I'm gonna take this out just for a little bit. Red, red meteor gems and meteorites should make the shield stronger. That's good to know. Let's, let's dump some stuff in here. Maybe I'll take that. I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna put you in there. Just kind of random, random business stuff. And then let's get the rock out of here before we go super nuts. Um, and then we'll just put it down here, I guess. See, it's, it's going to be a routine. That's all there is to it. Uh, pattern part stencil table. No, part builder. So we put that right there. Uh, so we can make, we need to make a one of these guys, tool binding pattern. Oh, we can put all these in like that. Uh, need to make one of these, a tool rod. And then we can put them in the chest. Boop, boop, boop. And then I believe, why are these eight pimp canes? That's so weird. Here we could put one of those. This takes half one, so we can put dust in there. Oops, <laughs> oops. Where'd he go? Ah, here we go. And then here, it takes one, so we'll go. There we go. Boom. Perfection. All right, so now I think we can turn this guy in. Yep. And what was the thing? Yep. Claim the reward. So we get a tool forge. Woo! Thank you. Thank you for the tool forge that we have received. Um, and then I'm going to make my first pick. Awesome. What I want to do now, <clears throat> and I guess I will put on this guy again, my my, my fit, because what I want to do is I want to can harvestable no, can't get it with this stupid thing. That's great. Uh, where's my torch? I don't wanna, don't wanna die. Never leave without a torch. Okay. Let's try over here on this guy. I may have to upgrade this stupid thing. Harvestable, no. Boy, but look at all this junk, man. That was a big meteor. Over here, you can see, oh, how did I miss that guy? 
Huh. So at least I have this, which means I should be able to, if we go over here, this should be enough for me to harvest this? No. No. Wow. What kind of what kind of goodness are you? You're You're like the lowest of the low. Can I even harvest clay? I can harvest clay. Which is not a bad deal. That's kind of good to know because uh, I'm going to need I'm going to need a lot of clay. Is now is this helping me? It is. Oh yeah, it says mining level stone. Okay. So uh I have an idea. I, I told you guys I was going to tell you about my idea uh, for this thing. I'm not going to do an underground base. Um, but the... Uh, I, what is that guy's name? What is the name of... I, I am man, last man on earth. Crap, I can't remember the name of that movie. Uh, but um, he, had, he had a townhouse. And... Uh, he, and he like had it all nice and boarded up and he would go out and he would like do it he would wake up he'd do his morning routine he would go out do his thing and then when nighttime came down he would stay inside his house board up all the windows and uh you know would have his food and he would do his exercise and all that stuff so that is what i'm going to do i am going to build a townhouse oh do you see that that's kind of cool so it doesn't lose lose track of what you're doing. I kind of like that. Um, I'm going to build a townhouse. Maybe more than one townhouse. I have to figure out what materials I have available. Right now, I have clay, which is kind of cool. Um, but I, hopefully I'm going to be able to color this somehow. Uh, I don't have any... I don't have any cactus to make green. I could possibly use that rose to make some rose red uh yeah actually that's not a bad idea i may i may do that um but that is my goal i'm gonna have i'm gonna try to make it as realistic quote unquote as possible so i'll have like a little garden uh going on uh you know in the back and that's where i'll have my food um you know i might have a i might have a basement who who knows uh, but that is that is my goal. I'm gonna go completely different than what I did in Crash Landing. Um, I just want to see: is this getting any better? Is it getting better? Yeah, a little little bit. All right, so I probably am going to have to upgrade this somehow, but I'm not sure what material I will upgrade it to. I'm gonna do that and keep on trucking, keep on grinding. Uh, hopefully hopefully now I've got a better grasp over the insanity stuff so sorry about the nutty insanity business going on um, we will definitely try to make uh, make better do make better uh, work of that in future episodes it's just like crash landing it was super hard at first and then we we initially or eventually overcame it hope you guys enjoyed if you did tornadoes over there I think I think that was one Ooh. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure and leave a like. Helps me out tremendously. And until next time, yeah, it is. It's Tornado Foreman. Ooh. <laughs> Take care. Brush your hair. I'll see you when I see you. Peace.